Okay, hello everybody. This is Try It Tuesday. I'm having a go at um, Robin Dudley House's little video that she put up on her very colourful envelopes. And I just thought it was absolutely great. Um, I have got the Caran d'Ache Neo 2, but they're in my, at home because I use them in my art journal when I'm, you know, this not they're not actually in my studio because I don't do my art journaling in my studio, funnily enough. I do it at home. So I'm going to give it a go with the Distress Crayons, okay, because I know they're water-soluble. Gelados as well is another thing. I've already pre-gessoed these and coffee stains at some point. Um, that one was okay. I didn't mind that envelope so much, um, but I've just gessoed it. This one was very sort of, I don't know, it looked dirty. So I've covered that in gesso. And this one was, I don't know, I've had ink on it and everything. I like the inside. I like all this. So I've left that, but I'm going to decorate the rest. And, and I've just saved that one. So they're all dry. So you've got to, please, I'll put her link of a video below, of course. Um, and I'm going to do a couple together, not just one, because I just find it better that way. This is the colours I'm using through my journal. So it could work to go in my journal. I don't know. It might be too bright. Um, she's done some very abstract flowers. And honestly, they just look beautiful. They really did. So, but I'm just going to play around with this colour palette. Yeah. So, let's see if it works for me. So she literally just scribbled everything on and then rubbed it in with her finger. Just so you yeah, I don't know. Just like, I'm just going to go just like that. Just pretend my kid is doing it. <laughs> it's, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> See what happens. Hey. Um, I do fancy a bit of yellow on there. I don't know why, but I've just got this, I think because it's a mid-tone, isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to have a little bit yellow. Let's see if I've got a... Oh, that might work. What one's that? Crushed olive. That might. Oh no, it's still too dark. That goes with these actually, brilliantly. Yeah. What have we got? Mustard seed. That might work. Was the other colours I used? Sorry, I didn't tell you, did I? So bad of me. Fired brick, wild honey, barn door, peeled paint. That was tea. I know that one. Um, that was the one. Oh no, it's, yeah, forest moss. And then I've picked up mustard seed and crushed olive. Okay. Now, she was mixing them with her fingers. I tend to do it with with a baby wipe. Nothing wrong with doing it with your fingers, mind. <laughs> so, I do that. I'm doing all the... Really, actually, you should start off with a light colour, if I remember rightly. 
No, I'm not saying that she said that, but that's what I normally do. <laughs> that's all right. We are having fun. You only need a bit of water just to activate these, so I'll just do it with a wet wipe. I seem to be able to control it a bit better, so... Okay, look at that. <laughs> so, right. Okay, like that. Get a new cloth as well. I'll just wet that one down. All right, it's got red. I'll we'll put that. Let's see, I like that green there. Um, we've got a bit. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, I think it's the same colour. Yeah. Yellow there. It's brown. I would say that's gold. Oh, a bit gold. And orange there. I think. Yeah, that's too bright a green. That that might. I'll try that. It's going to be different. No, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> I've changed my mind.
Okay, I've got my washi tape. So I'm just going to add some random pieces here and there. A nice black for a bit of contrast. Get them that way. <laughs> you know, it's bright. But that was that's what we're doing, so um Right, so I'll go ahead and finish those off and then I'll be back once it, once that's done. Okay. Still not keen on this one. This is funny. This is this really dirty envelope and it still to me looks dirty. So anyway, if in doubt, if I do it and don't like it, I will just say right over it and start again. Right, I do do that quite a lot actually. <laughs> right, okay, I'm sort of gonna t attempt poppies. Okay, I'm not, well, I'm not a painter at all. I'm more of, you know, I can draw them, but I have to draw them, you know, like more like illustrator type, type thing. Okay, my colours. Right, um, I did pick that colour I didn't like. That is. Pale olive. I wasn't not keen on that. 
Okay. Oh, if you wonder where my Artesia paints are, my son's had them because he paints and he wanted a range of colours. So I gave him the two boxes I had because I've got loads of paint. I always, I've got about three great big tubs of them. I literally pick them up when I see them going, you know, half price and stuff. This one's avocado, which is that one there. This is cadmium deep red hue, which is on there. And then I've got the cadmium orange hue next to it. Then I've got cadmium yellow, which I love those colours. Okay, and I've got a bit of gold. Okay. Just need a brush now. <laughs> so this could go terribly wrong now, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're having fun, aren't we? <laughs> so, wish me luck. Yeah, I like my shoulder brushes. This, this sort of shape. I like the square ones or the flat ones as well. But I used to have a nice little short one and I always to find flowers quite easy with that. Right, let's see if we can get a bit of space. <clears throat> okay. Which one? Should we try it on the bad one first? Because I'm not keen on this one. So let's have a go. Oh no. I really, I really do want to get a pencil out and draw it first. <laughs> right, okay. Bear with me. Okay, shape. I was gonna say, I was gonna say shape of an onion. It's not an onion, is it? <laughs> it's a poppy. <laughs> Dear, I love these people that just put a blob here and a blob there, and it it looks good. Just, I'm trying. <laughs> I really am trying. Um, I have got to think about composition because that's just the way I am. Okay. Need some green, don't we? <laughs> so I'm just getting picking up some orange now, if you can't see. Let's do it this way, this blob. Okay, need some green. Let me mix that. So I will go over that one again. Okay. Right. Leave that one.
I'm going to have a little paint left over. Okay, I need some orange on that. Not orange, just yellow. That was really nice, that colour. Don't know what happened to that one, so I'm going to... That's where I mixed my colours, wasn't it? So I'm going to put one there. Not really stems, <laughs> it's just uh, I'm trying to sort of create something that may be stems because some of these are going to go like that, a little bit too perfect, isn't it? Not as a poppy, but you know what I mean, too placed. Oh, I've done that one upside down. We got, <laughs> we got, <laughs> we got low poppies. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we can change that. <laughs> it's just going to be everywhere. It's going to be poppies. <laughs> Um, poppies are us. <laughs> Told you I can't paint. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, I can, but not like this. <laughs> so, oh dear. And they're upside down. Right. Get it. <laughs> I'm massive great. <laughs> I got a massive great pop puppy there. <laughs> just, just decided. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yep. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, I see. I like that one. Was this my first one I've done? No, it wasn't. Was it? I really like that. It's still drying now. That's that one's gonna be fine. <laughs> that little one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not going any further until I've done, <laughs> done the black stuff on it because <laughs> I have to get some kind of something going on first. 
and then I can visualise what's happening. In the moment, I can't visualise a lot. <laughs> we need black centres and different things like that. So, right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play <laughs> with my gel, pa gel plate now with this bit of paint. <laughs> I've left them overnight to dry because I think they need it before you use your... It's not so bad with ink. Ink is pretty good. But um, with Sharpies and that, I do tend to leave things to dry. Um, the two pens I use are the Fine Line Uni Pen. Pen, rather. It's supposed to be waterproof and fade-proof pigment ink. Okay. And the other one is a little mini Sharpie. Okay, ultra fine point, which I quite like. Um, again, so I've got a reference photo in front of me. Well, I've got my iPad, actually. And I've also got the napkin that I've been using, which I quite like, which I'm going to show you a little cheap, not cheap, cheat in a minute with that napkin on one of them. Just to show that, you know, if you're not confident in doing things like this, which... I'm not, you know, because I'm more of a definite drawer. But I love abstract. I've always been fascinated it, fascinated with it. And I love to watch people do it, especially, you know, especially when they hold the pen like this and they just they do all this sort of thing. I think it's absolutely brilliant. You know, that's something that I would love to learn how to do. And it's having confidence, you know, between your eyes and your hand, <laughs> which I think you either have or you haven't, to be honest. But... Apparently, you can learn, all right? So, with my reference photo, you know, it's 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 coming on here. So, definitely, you know, like, there's a, that lends itself to, you know, doing a butt there. And I'll just put some dots around. Okay, and here... I shall see. I have to that sort of thing, yeah, like that. And then I'm going to try and do it as loosely as possible. But I, you know, I find that quite hard. So okay, I think it sort of looks like a poppy, really, ish. <laughs> Hold the end of the pencil if you can. <laughs> I still want to go oh, like this. It's so strong for me to do that. Okay, and then.
going in towards that way, but that's all right. And then here, I'm going to come like that. Um, it's quite big, isn't it? I want to go. <laughs> okay, all right, we need one that sort of does that, don't we? So if we draw a little seed pod here. Okay, not too bad, better than I thought it was going to be, I, I really got the giggles, you notice when I get nervous I actually get the giggles because I'm like oh my god what am I going to do with this, but we done it. Not something that I'd want on my wall. <laughs> But considering I am absolutely so, so bad at drawing flowers, give me a face and I'm okay. Which I think I'm going to turn that one into a seed pod. And it's too big for a bud. And the same here. So I just flatten the top out like that. because they can become quite big, can't they? So let's just make that a bit bigger. Okay, well, I think I managed it, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> definitely, but anyway, so it's that one, I already had a play before I'd done it, so that was that one, that was the one that was, remember, that was upside down, yeah, and then we, then I had to put more things in, so we called that, um, Poppies are us. <laughs> so that's that one. Actually, could, there's a little bit of gap there. That's okay. So that's that. And then I'm going to show you what I mean about cheating. Right, so I just roughly cut out the elements of a poppy napkin and I sort of place them where I sort of want them to be. That was going to go there, wasn't it? Okay. Right, that one's smaller. So that one's bigger. So I sort of place them where I think they fit. I um, don't know where that one's from. 
actually I'm going to put that one there and that one there okay and then I'm going to sort out the, the seed pods and the things like that after so you can put them down and then you can draw over them okay and make them your own and there's one there but we haven't got poffy for that right okay so we'll get on and do that I mean, it's at, this is absolutely brilliant for people that really struggle you know like, oh, well, i can't draw like that or you know and they don't have a go where well, you could have a go at just that basic bit and then get your napkin and put it on the top okay and work. i used to do that years ago before i started actually giving it a go and it actually gives because you've you've got this right and then you paint over it it could be a a newspaper cut out piece of paper from a newspaper or a printable or do it on really thin paper draw over it put your marks on over what what's already there and you'll find it actually teaches you to see what's happening and and eventually you can draw them i mean you know i'm not saying perfectly of course but unless you're a natural artist but apparently you're supposed to definitely be able to learn how to draw so okay let's get tim holt stuff that was nice and quick i need a tissue sorry Okay, right, let's do some little seed pods. That's Right, before I do the next bit, <clears throat> um, I was just thinking, oh, I pulled off this piece of washi tape down here. I didn't like it down there. It was too much. But I'm just thinking if you get any white bits, okay, then all you've got to do is actually just go over them. Yeah, because you'll still see all just lightly. Okay, I haven't got very many. Most of it is okay, so... Just do that we can still follow that line of that flower okay just um oh i haven't got very many at all bit there look let me just make that one a bit a little bit bigger see Um, 
Sun's bill now. Okay. Okay, it's all done. Hopefully, I did try a little bit here and it's working. So what I do now, I'm hoping it will carry on working. Yeah, is just put some lines in. Okay, myself. Oops. <laughs> okay. And then hopefully I don't go wonky this time. There you go. There. And like that. There's already a little bit of a line there, but we can make our own. All right. Okay, and there's a stalk coming down there. So, stem stalk. There. some dots <laughs> let's have some dots and then these are the little seed pods so I'm gonna do that like that Yeah, we've got another big one here. Just gonna come out a bit. It's massive, isn't it? All right. So what always works over things like this is um, liquid acrylic and I think you'll find that um, companies are bringing out pens and liquid acrylics now they just need to be like Posca pens I know they were really expensive like three pound each they are good though but 
you know, I'm a little bit like, that one's a bit similar to that. That could have done with being up higher over there, I think. But anyway, hey-ho, that's the way it's worked. And this one comes. I don't know what happened to that one there. I ruined so many pens working on top of things like this. Okay, that's fine, right, all done. I was gonna spatter some paint along around, but I'm actually not, not minding how they're looking, if you know what I mean, except for that one, because I just wanna go definitely do that with it, but that's all right. And that's a bit odd, isn't it, that one? <laughs> it's like, I don't know whether we can change that one or not. I need it to come up like that and then down. Yeah, yeah I should have had my Posca pos I don't know actually if I've got a um, really fine Posca pen. If I have, it's up in up in home because that's what, like I said, that's where I do my. Yeah, that, that, that's irritating me that one, but never mind. Might look alright tomorrow, right? But yeah, there we go. So that one was done with napkins, but you wouldn't know it was a napkin now. That was done freehand and just, and then we have that one now.
Okay. Fine for art journal, journal, I think. So what I might do, I might do, I'm leaving them as it is at the back. Because this one I need to put like lace or something to, because it's short. Because this was already stuck down. So need to extend that one so we've got a flat. I'm just wondering whether to cut them up. <laughs> and then I quite like it cut up, if you know what I mean. I'm looking at that. And I'm thinking, do you know what? That would look quite nice. I wonder if we could cut mm, some of that up. That might look quite nice. <laughs> and this one. Well, that's, you know, look at that there. That would look nice. Turn that into a journaling card. <laughs> right. You know what I'm going to do later, don't you? I'm going to cut them up. You'll see them in the journal, I expect. And you might even see them as a freebie. <laughs> Turned into journaling tags. <laughs> yeah. We shall see. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. It's, look, it's all a bit of fun. I thoroughly, I, I thoroughly enjoy myself. So, okay. Not everything is perfect. And this is what I've literally tried for many years to 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 stop worrying about everything having to be so perfect you know not everything but in art so that's why i thought no i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna do it <laughs> and smiles along the way that's what matter, matters okay well thank you very much for watching then and i'll speak to you all soon Bye bye